This is small rig part number 3021. It's an HDMI adapter cable that goes from full size HDMI down to micro HDMI so that um, you can attach your camera that has micro HDMI to a cord and it's got some strain relief. It's got these two screws here so that you can screw it to a camera cage. My problem is once actually receiving this, it seems like there's really no useful way to attach it to any of their cages. Uh, because the cord is so short. If it had even just another one inch of uh, length, then that could probably open up a lot of possibilities. So this video is really for small rig. I'm gonna send it to them as, uh, as a little bit of a community review. Perhaps they designed this for another line of cameras, not the Sony Alpha series. Maybe it works better on a Panasonic or uh, something like that. But uh, as it is today, it's a really good idea. I love the idea of the strain relief on here with the adapter cable but I can't use it because of how short this cord is. So what I've got here is a uh, Sony A6000 with the A6000 cage. I also own a couple of Sony A6400s with their cage and I've tested on both, um, but this is the one that I'm going to uh, show on screen here today. And the, the location of the ports and everything is not much different than any of the other Sony Alpha series cameras. They might vary slightly up or down or slightly back and forth compared to the cage, but they're pretty much all within a half an inch of the same locations. So the idea here is that these ports are very fragile. So they have a tendency to get ruined if you yank a cable, especially sideways off of it. So if you're uh, on set one day and somebody trips over a cord and it yanks it sideways and all of a sudden you've got potentially a $1,000 um, camera that is no longer able to attach via HDMI. So that's very frustrating. So you wanna get some strain relief on there so that there's no chance that you would ever damage the camera itself. You'd rather throw away a $20 HDMI cable than to actually damage the port on your camera. So the idea is that this can screw on to one of these side plates here somewhere and provide some strain relief so that if a cable is ever tripped over, it's only gonna yank on the cage and nothing will um, hit the camera itself. Now, um, looking at the cage here, we've got a few options. We've got a few holes at the top of the camera, a few holes down the side of the camera, and we need uh, two of these 3 8 uh, screws to fit on there. So let's uh, try it out. So given the length of this cord, the only configuration they show on the small rig website is with the HDMI cable facing up. And it, it already feels like I'm straining this cord just doing this. It feels like I'm gonna break it right out of the box, but you have to put a bit of tension on here and you could screw it on like this. And you're gonna have a very tight loop. And uh, there's a few things that I don't like about this. One is the strain that's going on the uh, cable itself. So let's, let's just take a look at this for a second here. Look right in there. You can see there's a twist or a kink in the cord. And right on here, there's a twist or a kink on the cord. Um, but also in this only functional configuration, the HDMI is facing up to the sky. So um, I can't imagine a situation where you'd want your HDMI cable to be facing up on the camera. Video editor Ben here. Okay, I just didn't realize until I was editing this video that maybe Small Rig intended the HDMI port to face up for use with an external video monitor that you're rigging on your camera. But even when I use an external video monitor, I tend to just use one of these coiled HDMI cables that does micro HDMI to full size HDMI conversion anyways. So I still don't understand what the design intent was for this Small Rig part. I'd rather it be facing backwards, forwards, or down so that I don't have to have a big loop of cable over my camera on the tripod. Now, to fit it facing down, you're either gonna hit the connector itself or you're gonna be in front of the connector where you couldn't use the port or there's nowhere to mount it. There's nowhere to mount down here, nowhere to mount here, nowhere to mount here, right? So it's not very useful in that capacity. This is also so short that if you add any additional rigging to this cage, you won't be able to attach it. So for example, if I wanted to put it on the top of the cage here, it's already tugging on this port and you're putting tension on that port. And the whole point of the strain release is so that you don't put tension on this port. So I really don't like the idea of trying to screw this down and be tugging on that port all the time. I want that to be nice and free so it just sits neutral the way it was designed to be, uh, be attached. 
So at this point, I can't see a purpose for this with a Sony uh, Alpha camera on a small rig cage. It really doesn't help in any uh, capacity. So um, I think this is going to have to be returned. Uh, I'm hopeful that small rig might uh, make a new version of this that could have even just an extra one inch of cable on here which would allow it to be mounted on the top of the camera. And it would also leave some room that if you wanted to attach some extra kind of outrigging off of the camera cage, that you'd be able to mount it to another bracket off the side of the camera that, that could be, you know, on an L bracket or a cheese plate or something extra on the side here. With this short cable right now, it's just too short that if you added a cheese plate or an L bracket on the side, you wouldn't be able to reach or you'd be pulling on that port again, which kind of removes the whole benefit of having a strain relief at all. All right, so that was a quick little video. It was pretty much just made for small rig, but hey, if you enjoyed the video too, then leave it a like down below. And uh, if you have an idea of any cameras or um, camera cages that this does work really well on today, then put that in the comments down below so I can understand the value of why they designed it like this. But as it stands so far, I can't recommend it. I think small rig needs to add about an inch longer cable on here before it's really useful, at least on the Sony Alpha line of cameras and cages. And uh, I'm hoping this feedback is well received by them. That's going to be it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.